I am a veterinary radiologist who specializes or focuses really on aquatic animals and primarily marine mammals, but um, I do look at medical images of all sorts of aquatic critters. The pathophysiology of certain disease processes, you know, they, they're so unique relative to domestic animals and terrestrial animals that we know a lot about already, comparatively, um, that, you know, having that knowledge base, I think, will help us with interpreting the presence of disease or absence of disease in wild animals. It'll help us, you know, interpret, uh, be better able to intervene and help animals that are in rehabilitation facilities. So we'll have a, you know, a reference for normal values that we can't really ascertain any other way. So, yeah, I think it's invaluable. I have never really had a day um, in that context that I haven't felt extremely, extremely um, fortunate really, to be interacting with the animals, with their caretakers, their trainers, their veterinarians. It's always kind of a remarkable experience. Um, in my opinion, it seems that um, the people that are entrusted with the care of those animals are remarkably committed to their well-being, like almost pathologically. Like I do find that sometimes they almost neglect their own families, you know, to attend to the well-being of those animals. I think I was eight or nine years old. And I'll never forget it. I mean, I poss possibly because I have some pictures of the event, but I'll never forget it because I um, had such a meaningful interaction. Seeing those animals in person really inspired me. And I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing now for a living, which is, it, you know, my, my work is entirely committed to making sure that every animal that's in human care is, is cared for as, as well as possible. So I don't know if I would have had that inspiration in the absence of that experience when I was little.